All new here at 9, we're exploring a huge problem impacting many local communities. Tonight, Elliot Davis answers a call from a parent in the East St. Louis School District. She says her daughter was left high and dry because of the bus driver shortage. Here's tonight's You Paid For It. Erica Marchbanks has been having trouble getting her seventh grade daughter on the bus in the East St. Louis School District 189. There just aren't enough bus drivers. So they end up day after day waiting at the bus stop. Hey, the problem is my daughter has been stranded, you know, left at the bus stop, not being picked up by the school. And when I call and ask them, you know, why she's not being picked up, it's just like the only thing they're telling me to do is to drop her off myself. She's being stranded at school where I'm having to pick her up after school. It's really tough with her and her husband working. How many times have you said the bus has been late? Ooh, every single day. I couldn't get anywhere with the transport the transportation manager down at the school board, so I just had had enough, Elliot. So I just decided to reach out to you. I reached East St. Louis School District Executive Director of Communications, Sydney Kaufman. She points to problems at the bus company the district hired. Illinois Central is facing similar challenges as many other um, transportation entities across the region, as well as across the nation, which is a shortage of drivers. Any driver absence will of course exacerbate the daily situation. So it does cause delays um, in picking up our students. Kaufman says they have 64 bus routes, but only 57 drivers to cover them. Apparently a new law in Illinois requires the school district to transport more students because of street gang activity. Students that are actually having to walk to and from school in, during um, uh, unsafe other conditions such as gang activity, areas that have high uh, gang or criminal activity. They went from transporting 2,200 students to moving 3,600 kids. This with a shortage of drivers. Parents say the district was also short on communications. Not right. timely information. They're not even letting me know that a bus is not coming, that a bus is not going to be, that it's going to be late. One of the criticisms we got from a parent is that they didn't have enough warning or heads up that they were going to run into this problem. How do you answer that? Sure. Well, communication is a big, uh, big issue, of course. And so we always strive to make sure that we're providing timely communication to families, especially during those delays. So we appreciate the family's patience. Just like bus driver shortages I've done in school districts from Parkway to Afton, those here in East St. Louis say they don't know when the shortage is going to be over, but say they'll continue to do the best they can and hope for the best. Of course, I'll stay on top of this important issue. After all, oh, I better. you paid for it.